All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a break from our, our recent streak of electronic equipment uh, episodes and get back to basics. And that means choice of home ownership or uh, renting or whatever it is here. Um, yeah, sarcasm implied here. So disaster struck in the kitchen area. So guess what happened? So let's see. That's something you may be familiar with. The soap dispenser, which works like that. There's a pump. Uh, normally you press a few times and the soap comes out of here and you can wash your dishes and things like that. So great. Uh, what's not so great is that's the bottle for the soap and generally speaking it just gets screwed into the pipe underneath that so if you can see that yeah i see that's a straight pipe down there uh and right now nothing is there because the bottle is here but bottle basically goes right under just gets screwed in uh you refill it from the top so it's all good soap is there pump goes in here and ultimately into the bottle uh, you pump it and it's all good that is until this plastic bottle breaks which apparently happens pretty often and let me just show you you see what's supposed to be in here uh, is the whole neck with threads which is nowhere to be found uh, or actually it is can be found and it's right at the bottom of this pipe and now we'll try to get to see where it's at from the bottom. And of course, with that failing, the whole bottle fell down. And yeah, well, this area was quite a mess. And now it's all cleaned up. All right, so that's the, that's the nipple of this uh, dispenser it goes down. And as you can see, the actually the gray area, so the the pipe itself is black, but the gray part of that is that's our neck from the bottle, which just like right in there. So the first order of business we need to extract that from there. And for that, and what we're gonna use to extract the broken neck of the bottle is the special tool. Uh, meat, butter knife. And uh, the important part here is the serrated edge. All right, that's a pretty tight working area, but the idea is we get the knife in, the serrated parts, grab the edges, and then we just need to turn it like so and it's out right here and here it is so that's what we extracted and that's basically how it's supposed to You go in the bottle and yeah that's that's pretty common so that's the mess that is going to happen sooner or later pretty much with uh, all types of these devices and i mean of course the obvious thing could be uh, well you can buy and replace uh, with another plastic bottle just like that uh, just to make need to make sure that the threads are what you have because they are different at least a couple of different uh thread i don't know, it's, wouldn't call them standards but variations and they're not compatible with each other but it seems that they all fail pretty quickly especially the replacement one what's worse is that the bottle like that which i'm pretty sure is no more than something like i don't know 50 cents to manufacture at most and I'm being very generous here. Uh, the 
manufacturers, the plant manufacturer manufacturers, or any uh, of the replacement varieties that I could find on Amazon or elsewhere, uh, we ask you at least 20 bucks for that, like for empty bottle, plastic bottle with really nothing there. There's no mechanism, that's to go to pump, just a bottle. Uh, which I find is pretty ridiculous, especially for something that is really is expected to fail again. So, what we will try to do is to improve on this mechanism and perhaps get rid of the bottle entirely. So, the idea is take the pump that will go here, uh, which will connect here with the hose uh, or a piece of tubing. And this whole piece of tubing will go down here, go the bottle under, and ultimately end up in a container like that, which is the big container with the... Uh, is that the right one? Yeah, probably. Uh, with the soap, which then you can just replace one is once you run out. Maybe, I don't know, it's going to last you half a year, a year or something. Uh, and uh, we'll see if that's going to work. So let's get to it. All right, so here's the idea. So I just got there, uh, just cut a piece of well, clear vinyl tubing. That's food grade, so I just have it going around. Pellet free. Okay, so quarter inch ID and three eighths uh, OD. And it's food grade uh, PVC. So, yeah, food grade is nice, not super important, but it's nice that it doesn't leach uh, any of the nasties into your <laughs> uh, dish soap, so that's good. So the, the sizing Thor, as you can see, uh, it does not quite go in, so it's about the same uh, the size, the quarter inch, the OD on the... Uh, on the pump here uh, and the ID on the um, on the tubing, but that's that's actually a good thing. So we're gonna solve it with some hot water. So here's my prepared kettle. Just put some hot water in. Not boiling, but just hot. And put just a little bit of the tubing in there just for a few moments. So that will soften uh, up the vinyl and also it expands a little bit. So let's see if that helped. Yeah, it's warm and it's pretty pliable now. I mean, it's pliable as it is, but it's even more so now. All right, so let's see if we can get it in right now. Oh yeah, and now it's coming in just like that. A little bit further in, it's actually the Liability works against us because it's kind of hard to push in, but I want to get it as much as I can so that it doesn't pull down on the weight because now we're going to have quite a bit of the piping hanging off the uh, pump here and potentially hopefully full of soap. There will be a little bit of weight to that, but the way it goes. I don't see that being a problem. I mean, it's pretty tight. And once it's cool off, it will, yeah, it will be on very solid. I think that's probably enough. Let me just see what we Okay, so let me just pull, pull on that. And even without cooling off, yeah, I really have to pull on and it stays still. So I'm not going to be hanging off pounds or kilograms of lead to that, so that should that should do it. All right, so now our setup is like that. So the pump, then pump is here, the pipe 
Well, the tubing is there. Now we'll need to thread it in uh, into the hole, drop it into the container with soap and see if it actually works. Alright, and that's the pump, that's how it's supposed to work. You just push on and expect the soap to come out. Alright, and just for the purpose of filming, uh, I just put the container on the bar stool. And check this out, this tubing is also a perfect fit uh, for, the, for the cap in the soap container. So, okay, let's push it all the way in. All right, and let's see if we can pump something out. Oh, and look at that. Well, we'll need to prime, but I think you already can see the soap going through the pipe. It's a nice color. So let me just show you. That it's moving through. Ah, look at that. And there we go. Look at that, beautiful. So, yep, all the soap is in there. Yeah, and as I said, so we don't need to be pumping as much every single time we need to use. So, now once it's primed, the tube is filled with soap. Yeah, it's all ready to go. Uh, no plastic parts to break, really. I mean, the tubing can fail, but that's really not a hard plastic subject to stresses here. Not, not that much. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, probably the next thing to fail here would be the pump itself, which is also not super durable, but would also be easy to replace. So I think that's, that's done. I'll just need to put the... Uh, the container right under the sink and it's all done perfect uh, it's great and the plan comes together and works exactly as well he planned it and here's how it looks like after i cleaned up underneath so yeah that's pretty much it uh there's obviously like quite a bit more pipe in there well, pipe uh, there's quite a bit more tubing in there, which is now actually all the way in the container. So I can move it if I need to, but basically, because I don't need to have extended tubing hanging out. Hanging up, you can see it. That's the end of the pump. And then the rest is just that. And just a little bit inside the container and the rest is probably coiled at the bottom it's kind of hard to see uh, but yeah it basically does the, the well the pump does not need uh, to lift as much and that's that so if you like the content please hit the like subscribe and let me know in the comments if you liked it if you didn't like it what you would like differently the same if you actually managed to replicate this or it inspired you for something else. So let me know and I'll see you in the next episodes.